one great grandpa, Jacob R. Stiltner, fought in the 10th Kentucky, and great grandpa Andrew Jackson Edwards fought in the the 21st Virginia Cav. And uh, my, on my mother's side, I had 13 Confederate ancestors in hit. But I'm trying to preserve history here and and spread the word that North tells a different story. They don't want to admit, but we're just trying to spread the history and and educate the people. Maybe they learn something here today they don't need to know. Not only could folks see what daily life was like during that era, but were also able to get a glimpse of what it was like to be a soldier as a replica of the first successful combat submarine was on display and told the story of the brave men who manned the machine. What these men had to go through, you know, they had to march seven miles just to get to it. They were inside of it eight to 12 hours. They marched seven miles back and they did that three times a week. They weren't wearing tennis shoes either. They were wearing what they call brogans, and they're not comfortable. They put a spar on the front and they what they call a torpedo. We don't know the exact kind of torpedo because all those records were destroyed, but we knew, know that it carried somewhere between 90 and 135 pounds of powder. This particular type of spar torpedo was intended to impale the side of a ship and back off, leaving the torpedo to detonate. But that did not happen. It detonated upon impact. That 90 to 135 pounds of powder set off the powder magazine on the Houston Tonic where thousands of pounds of powder and ammunition were held. The Houston Tonic was over 200 feet long and over 38 feet wide. Not only did it break it in half, but it blew it slam out of the water. Had a crew of 160 men and only five pairs. So that left 155 to write in their diaries what kind of wild ride they went on that night. 